Hello, welcome to this video. This video is first in the series of Shiny App Tutorials. We will see high level of um, high level introduction to Shiny. What is Shiny? What is needed to get started building Shiny apps? File components or the structure of Shiny, and also how to run Shiny apps. So let's get started. Okay, so what is Shiny? Shiny is open source uh, web application framework for R developed by R Studio. Shiny makes it easy to turn uh, analytical analysis done in R into stylish uh, and um, interactive web apps which could be shared over the web to a wider audience. So say for example if a person has um, done some kind of uh, Twitter sentiment analysis in R and um, if he wants to share this over the web or integrate um, that into a web page that can be easily done using Shiny. Here we have some of the uh, um, uh, links where we can see uh, the um, um, galleries or examples of uh, um, apps made using Shiny. So I'm in this website called Show Me Shiny and it's uh, one of the gallery for uh, our web apps. And as you see, um, I'm scrolling down and you can see the uh, web apps, our, our apps made in Shiny uh, is submitted to this website. So what is needed to build an app using Shiny? First thing we need is uh, R, specifically the latest version of R installed in the system. We would need a package and it's a um, Shiny package. Uh, we, you don't need to be an expert in HTML or CSS or JavaScript. Little knowledge would work. However, Shiny makes it simple and easy for us. It has uh, functions uh, which integrates the R uh, code and translates it to uh, equivalent HTML. Okay, to start with, um, with this command, uh, install uh, install the package Shiny package. Installer package is Shiny. We create uh, the uh, we, uh, the user interface uh, in in a file called ui.r. We also create another file called server.r and this file contains the instructions or the code for um, computation purpose to process the inputs uh, which are fed in the um, um, fed through the um, user interface. Um, here is a small um, uh, flow which shows how the ui.r or the piece of code in ui.r interacts with server.r so basically first to understand what is you what is this ui.r or what kind of code it contains it contains uh, a, a code which controls the layout uh, we create the layout of or the uh, we set the appearance of our app it contains the widgets um, which captures the uh, user inputs an, an example would be text input radio buttons um, drop drop down menus and kind of stuff it it, it also um, displays the um, output uh, such as graphs or um, plots something like that in server.r we, we have the set of instructions that uh, uses uh, whatever input we uh, got from the um, from the user interface and 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 that that is uh, used for computation or, or basically the input uh, information is um, processed and the, uh, the output is produced. This output is then uh, used uh, by um, um, UI.R or basically the, um, the, um, the, co the code inside the UI.R to produce the um, output. Here we see the general um, uh, structure of UI.R. So first thing, um, since um, we installed the R package last, uh, sorry, the Shiny package last time, um, it's very important that we load that uh, Shiny package 
in, in our file. So um, this is very important. Please note that um, you don't forget to load the Shiny package. Next, the Shiny UI function tells uh, R that, okay, this is the um, Shiny user interface piece and uh, it's followed by a fluid page fluid page tells that okay this is the uh, first user uh, first it is the user interface piece and now we are going to create a page and its type is fluid that that is basically that the um, page uh, the the width of the layout uh, um, is set automatically based on the uh, browser it, it fills in the um, whatever browser we are using maybe um, you know Mozilla or, or uh, IE or Safari or whatever it, it fills in so it's fluid it fills in uh, based on the browser so we have uh, basically um, two, two uh, parts of the page uh, the first one is the um, title or the header and the second one is uh, sidebar um, layout. So in the application title, what or or, or the header, what 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 happens is we uh, it it gives the title uh, to the app. Uh, you know, so for example, it's a um, sentiment analysis, um, uh, or so we can say a Twitter sentiment analysis or trend uh, population trend or something like that sidebar layout uh, has uh, uh, is divided into two, co two components one is the sidebar panel uh, this is the one where uh, um, you know we will uh, we will define the uh, uh, we will give the uh, widgets and um, you know input control we will control the um, uh, uh, we, we will give the uh, widgets to get the data from the um, uh, from the user say slider input text input uh, drop downs and all those things main panel is the um, is the section where um, ultimately um, the output would be displayed say it's a graph or it's a, uh, it's a plot histogram uh, bar charts or, or just a summary statistics uh, mean, median, mode, whatever you want to display there, or whatever, whatever is the outcome, it gets displayed in the uh, main menu. So next we have structure of uh, server dot r. So uh, basically, again, once again, uh, we need to. Uh, oops. Once again, we need to uh, load the um, shiny package here, and. If you see, we have shiny server function, which tells uh, we are talking about the um, server uh, function. It's not the UI, but the server function where the computation actually happens. And it takes uh, um, the uh, input as one of the argument and it returns um, output. And so um, whatever computation happens uh, in this section, uh, uh, would produce an output which is then used by um, the um, UI dot R to uh, produce the um, output in the main panel. Okay, uh, next we see the components uh, um, uh, of the um, UI dot R page layout. Um, remember, we were talking about the header or the title panel. So this is an example which shows, say for example, um, uh, miles per gallon. So this this app would have been for um, computation of uh, um, uh, uh, to graphically represent miles per gallon. Uh, so the header title panel goes like miles per gallon. And here we see a, um, a widget. Uh, it, it takes input from the user uh, to select the kind of variable from the data set and, and this is uh, actually the um, sidebar panel and here we see the main panel and you can see that uh, we have the box plot so basically this uh, the, the, um, the user input from here is passed to the um, server um, server dot r 
uh, file and then from there uh, the computation happens and and uh, in return we will get the plot and plot is displayed in um, the the main panel well this uh, this uh, the source of this uh, uh, screenshot or basically the image was taken from uh, uh, one of the um, examples from our studio gallery next uh, how to run the shiny app so we discussed about these uh, two um, these two files the ui.r and the server.r files so what we need to do is we need to save both these files in either our your r working direct directory or any other folder uh, it can be any folder bottom line is it both have to be stored together and so for to in order to run the app we can run the app in the local system um, suppose you are in your work directory and that is where the ui dot uh, r and the server dot r files are stored so in the console um, command line you need to just uh, type run app um, and it would run um, the um, app for you um, well in case um, it's not the working directory where you store the um, files you may want to enter the um, path um, give give that path as an argument in the run run app uh, function here and uh, it would uh, run it uh, run the app for you another thing we can do is uh, um, uh, since we are using R studio for uh, to build this app and um, in in our studio, um, it has a, uh, a button, uh, run app button, which you can click and, and it would run the app for you. There are other options as well to run the app. Say um, you can select um, instead of uh, running in the local host, it can uh, run the app in the uh, browser as well. Once you are done, you can uh, you have various options to uh, share the app over the uh, web. You can use GitHub. You can um, put your um, app in the um, Dropbox, Gist, or Shiny App IO, or there are other third-party websites where um, they they host um, they can host your app. 